Hi, it's me again. One year ago, we made a video detailing how to use the public transportation in Stockholm, run by SL, Aktiebolaget Storstockholms Lokaltrafik, or uh, Stockholm Public Transport, as it's called in English. Most information in that video is still very relevant, but SL has already started implementing a new system with new cards that will replace these old cards completely by the end of 2023. If you just watched that video and ended up here, Great. Otherwise, please go watch that video after this one to get a full picture of how things work. In this video, we'll be focusing on the new system. The old SL Access cards will still work until the migration to the new system is complete. But it's a good idea to upgrade your card to the new green one as soon as possible, since the support for these is currently being phased out. You can already see that the self-service ticket machines have started retiring. If you still have some Rias Casa left in your old card, but not enough for a single journey ticket, it is now possible to refill with as little as one crown to make sure you can use every last drop of that money. The new green card you still buy in the manned booths at the metro and commuter train stations, or at any convenience store with a SL flag. I think they changed the flags to green now to match the cards. But I'm sure you'll find it. You can no longer buy a card from the SL Customer Service Center at Stockholm Central Station. When you buy a card, you also buy a ticket. So these are also places where you buy tickets if you already have the green card. Since the self-service ticket machines are being put to sleep, the new way to buy tickets if you're scared of human interaction is instead through the SL app. SL Journey Planner and Tickets, SL Reseplanera och Biljetter, is the app that SL wishes was your best friend. The app rating is even worse than last year, so I hope they have plans to address all the issues in the near future, as the app is becoming an integral part of their system. If you want to buy any of the tickets available for the card, you simply click Tickets, SL Card, and then scan the QR code on the back of your green SL card. After that, it's just like any other internet purchase. The currently available tickets are 24 and 72 hours, 7, 30, 90 days, and the annual tickets. In just a few months, the normal single ticket will also be available. The SLF also has a bunch of other features, like traffic info and directions, a safety number to call if you feel unsafe while traveling, and replacement guarantee for when you inevitably lose your SL card. For those who need to travel to Arlanda or Uppsala, these extension tickets are also bought in the app, since they currently can't be stored on the green card. You actually don't need the green card at all, since all the normal tickets mentioned earlier are available in the app too. The only time a physical card is preferable is when you're planning on sharing the ticket with a friend or family. The ticket is not personal, as long as only one person is using it at a time. When you buy a ticket in the app, it's presented as a QR code, and lending out your phone is just not as convenient. But hey, maybe you don't need a period ticket at all. Let's have a look at the different tickets and the pricing and discounts. As I mentioned in last year's video, single journey tickets are the most cost-efficient option for the occasional traveler. With some quick math, we can see that people like me, who work from home every other day, are better off spending the 39 crowns twice a day, compared to a monthly ticket for 970 crowns. No matter how you pay for your tickets, be it in the app, at the booth in the metro, or in the convenience store, the price is always the same. It didn't used to be, but now it is. Personally, I don't use the SL app or the new green card. I just tap my credit card against the ticket reader, which automatically activates a full price single pair ticket. It's also possible to use Apple or Google Pay. So if you're just not into physical cards, individual below the age of 20 or over the age of 65 and students entitled to the discounted price can register their credit or debit card on SL's website. After doing this, Tapping the registered card to the ticket reader will activate the ticket to the discounted price instead of the full price. Finally, we will reiterate how to activate your tickets.
With the new system, these old blue readers are no longer used. Your new green card should of course go on the green reader. As before, this reader is also used for your credit or debit card, as well as scanning the QR code of app tickets in the little window. And as always, if you ever feel lost or don't know how something works when you're actually out there in the wild and don't have this video to refer to, just ask someone, literally anyone, and they will help you. It's a Swedish thing. There you have it, all the missing pieces to last year's guide on how to travel in Stockholm. Hope you liked the video. Give it a like below if you want this video to reach more people who are planning to travel in Stockholm. Okay, bye then. Which automatically activates a full price, full price. Look at my armpits. <laughs> Can you see that in the video? <laughs> <laughs>